Want consistent characters, cinematic prompts, and real AI filmmaking? Do you have the files or not? Hey friends, welcome, Nova here. Ever see those mind-blowing AI videos and wonder, what is their secret? Honestly, I'm still learning too. But after days of trial and error, I found a workflow that actually works. So the main thing you need to remember when you're starting out is just to be consistent. It really makes all the difference. So I designed a three-step system to save you the headache and fix the biggest problem, consistency. And I just updated this system. The new version doesn't just handle one character, it now handles multiple characters. Let's get started. Step one is the story and script. But let's be real. A cool idea isn't enough to make a video go viral. So, what makes the difference? A killer character design. Yes, you need a personality that actually fits the story. That is exactly what Gem 1 does. You don't just write a script, you build a person. Creating a custom gem is super simple. In Gemini, just click on New Gem. Give it a name. Then, all you need to do is paste my prompt into the instruction section. You can even upload reference files here if you want. Hit save, and you're done. Now, let's feed it our idea. For this video, I'm entering a concept for a gritty sci-fi noir story about a robot losing its heart. For the genre, I chose sci-fi noir, and for the style, I used hyper-realistic 3D caricature. Look at this output. It didn't just write a script, it created visual DNA. See how it explicitly defined Sully as square and brown, and Scrap as round and orange? That specific contrast is the secret. By locking in these shapes and colors now, we stop the AI from blending them together later. Blueprint done. Now, let's visualize them with Gem 2. Next, I use Gem 2. I simply copy the character description and the full script from Gem 1 and paste it right in. Actually, I found that using just a single full body image in Nano Banana doesn't guarantee consistency. The overall look works, but the specific details often break. That is why Gem 2 generates this, a single reference image showing Sully from the front, side, and back. This teaches the AI exactly what he looks like from every angle. And as you can see below, it even writes specific prompts for other camera angles that you can use to create the character in different poses too. Next up, visuals. But hold on. Before we start generating randomly, you need to know this. A camera angle isn't just where you put the camera, it controls what the audience feels. It dictates who has the power in a scene. Let's break down how camera angles change the emotion of a scene. Using our detective story. First, the low angle. Looking up at Sully makes him appear bigger than life, like an immovable wall. It instantly establishes his power over the tiny robot. Next, the high angle. Looking down on Scrap emphasizes his isolation. It makes him feel small and vulnerable, forcing the audience to feel sympathy. Finally, the Dutch angle. Tilting the horizon creates disorientation. It's perfect for the twist when the machine reveals his heart, visually signaling to your brain that something is wrong. Now, there are lots of these angles in cinematography guides. Trying to memorize them is a huge headache. This is where Gem 3 comes in. Think of it as your automatic director of photography. You just feed Gem 3 your script and character sheet. 
it automatically analyzes the emotion of the scene and suggests the best cinematic angle. Then, it writes the full, detailed prompt for you. So, you don't have to guess. You just generate. Here is the logic inside Gem 3. We feed it the script and references, and then it hits the decision framework, the AI's brain. It analyzes the emotion to pick the angle, low for power, high for vulnerability, or Dutch for tension. I've mapped out all the categories here, but you can easily add your own custom angles too. For example, I included a section for framing, because an extreme wide shot isn't just about the background, it's about showing how small the character feels. And down here we have the specialty shots. This is where you get your over-the-shoulder angles for conversations, or POV shots. Basically, the prompt is just combining all these layers, the angle, the distance, and the focus, so the final image actually makes sense. Then, it generates two specific prompt types. You just choose your path, standalone for a fresh shot, or continuity to lock in the style from your previous generation. Standalone creates a fresh image from scratch. Continuity is smarter. It reads your previous generated image first to lock in the lighting and colors. This ensures your scene flows naturally. Finally, the multi-character guide tells the AI exactly how to position people so they don't merge together, giving you a perfect, ready-to-use output format every time. From now on, the process is so easy. I just upload the character sheet we made in step 2. Then, I paste the specific scene prompts from step 3 into Nano Banana Pro. And look at this, you can easily see the perfect match. The face, the clothes, the lighting. It's total consistency across the whole story. That is exactly what I learned. I gathered all of this into a prompts guide that you can find right now in the description. If this was helpful, I would be so thankful for a like and a comment. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.